Welcome to part two. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can install WordPress on your own site manually. That is to say, how you can do it if for some reason your hosting provider doesn't include an auto install script. Now, just like in the last video, you're going to need a domain name, you're going to need hosting, and your hosting provider should include PHP and MySQL databases. In addition to that, you're also going to need FTP software to upload the files to your server. You can use the file manager that comes with cPanel or other control panels, but it can be a bit slow and difficult. And the FTP software that I like to use is called FileZilla, which you can download for free from this site here, FileZilla project.org. So basically what we're going to do in this video is download the software from wordpress.org and it's important you go to wordpress.org not wordpress.com. We're going to upload to the server via FTP and then we're going to run the installation routine manually. This is how you do it. And the first step in installing WordPress manually is to download the software. So you come here to WordPress.org and then click here where it says download WordPress and it'll download the latest version to your hard drive. And at the time that I'm making this video, the latest version is WordPress 4.2.3. So let's click here on download WordPress. And it takes you through to this page and you've got various options. You can download the latest version as a zip file or a tar file. You can also get the mobile app as well by clicking on this button here. Let's just simply download the zip file. So I'll click here on this button. And you can see it's downloading to my hard drive. It's got about a minute left, so rather than have you sit through and simply watch the timer go down, I'm going to pause the video and then come back to it once the zip file has been downloaded. Okay, I've cheated a little bit. In addition to downloading the zip file, I've also uploaded it to my web space and I've logged into my control panel, logged into cPanel and now I'm going to finish setting it up. First thing I need to do is to access the zip file. So I'm going to use Legacy File Manager for this demonstration, although you can use File Manager, but I actually prefer this one. So let's just open that. And we're gonna open it in the web root, the public HTML, click on Go. And you can see we have the zip file uploaded and this is in the main uh, public HTML directory. I've uninstalled the previous installation, the one that I showed you in the last video, just so there aren't any conflicts or anything like that. Okay, so we can click here on the zip file. And then I'm gonna click here where it says extract file contents. And there we go, that's done. And if I refresh this, and there we go. And you can see it's installed everything into a directory called WordPress. Now, if I was doing this for real, I would probably want this in the root directory. And if I just open this up, you'll see everything's in here. And what I'd have to do would be to copy all this over or move all this over into the um, public HTML folder. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to leave it as it is for the time being. Okay, we need to go into the WP admin folder. So let's click here on this icon. It opens up the folder and then you want to scroll down to where it says install.php. And then we actually want to run this file. So what I'm going to do is code here where it says URL, and I'm going to click on that, and that should open it in a new window, or a new tab rather. Anyway, it takes you through to this page, 
and you select your language. The default is English United States, but there are other languages as well. I'm going to leave it at the default setting and then click here on continue. And it takes you through to this page where it needs some information and you're going to have to set this up manually in cPanel. You're going to need to know the database name, database username, database password, and database host, and the table prefix if you want to run more than one WordPress in a single database. OK, so to set that up, we first of all need to go back into cPanel. So let me go back to the cPanel tab. And we need to scroll up a bit to where it has the section on oops, databases. It's just down a bit here. And you want to click here where it says My SQL Database Wizard opens up this window and the first thing you do is enter your new database name in here so let's call this WordPress and then click on next step add the user and then you want the password and you can also use the password generator if you want and then you click here on create user you want to give it all privileges and click here on next step and there we go now you want to make a note of all this information because you'll have to enter it in but you should generally keep this confidential because it can be useful to a hacker. And this is just a demonstration database and WordPress setup that I'm doing for this video. By the time you watch this video, I will have taken it down. So let's just go back to the WordPress setup configuration file. And now I've got all this information done. Let's click here on let's go. And then we want to enter all this information in. So I'll just pause the video while I do that. OK, and I've set that up. And the important thing to remember is you must include the prefix under the database name and database user. That's very important. Otherwise, it won't work. So I've put everything in now, including the password, which I'm obscuring for security purposes. And now I just need to click here where it says Submit. And it takes you through to this page where you have to put in some information about the site. They want the site title. They want the administrator's username, password, the email address. And you can check this box to allow the search engines to index the site and then click here where it says install WordPress. So let me just pause the video while I do that. And there we go, I've entered all the information in. So now all I have to do is click here to install WordPress. And there we go, that's it, it's done. And all you have to do now is simply click here to log in. Then you want to enter the username and password. and then click here to log in and here we are in the WordPress dashboard as before so that's how you go about installing WordPress manually slightly more difficult than simply installing it from within the control panel but as you've seen not too difficult in the next video I'll talk you through how you go about installing a new theme in your WordPress blog